Hello everyone, this is Kira, and I thought why not start off episode 5 with a nice look since we just did the world tour. Now, isn't that nice? I think it's lo it looks really cool. Um, this is by the way the back side of the mountain so to say, um, of what you saw in the world tour. Anyways, um, I just came by here so I thought I'd give you, give you a look on that. And now I want to wanna show you what I did on the village, so enjoy! So, how do you like it? I'm done with the village. Um, yeah, I love this. I love this read part over there. <laughs> I hope you like it too. Um, this idea I got kind of out of. I always wanted to do, uh, yeah, like with the the weed part that I showed you in the world tour. I just like to have it a huge field. Um, that you do not really use for harvesting or stuff and just for looks, you know. And I thought I, I'll do it here since, um, yeah, it just blends in nice to the, to the, it just kind of fits. And I forgot to turn off Skype again. What the heck? Uh, yeah, I got to fix that in a second. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I will show you around in detail when we got our guests going. Um, check my inventory, as you can tell. I'm prepared for moving out. Um, well, not I'm moving out, of obviously, but um, gotta lay tracks down. Um, gonna get the villagers from my main part village, like the castle village thingy. And um, once they get here, I'm gonna Ah, I'll get to that later. Oh, enough talking for now. So, yeah, let me prepare this. And um, since we, since I'm not, since I'm not going to show you any building today, um, as you can tell, I al already did all this for the village. Um, I will show you the the part when bringing them over here, and um, we'll check on them if they if they start breeding. I put in a lot of doors. I hope it works fine, but. We'll see on that, so I'll see you in a bit. So I just came by here and got reminded that I showed this in the world tour and it didn't work right. <laughs> so I thought um, since we got time today maybe I'll show it that it's actually working because you know showing redstones, uh, redstone stuff that's not working. That is that's really bugging me. I can't, I can't let this go. Um, so I'm Maybe, you know, without running the song because it's too long. Well, i got to remember this, that this was a uh, two-tick. Um, I'm just going to run the redstone. No, not a bow. Run the redstone over here. And let me see. Uh, run it to over here. So this would be the same as if the song was running through the whole thing here and come back in here, all right? Um, the memory cell is now set correctly, so if one triggers the tripwire that is up at the spawning tree, which is right above us, um, this whole thing would be set. It's the same as if I press this button here. So let me just do that and show you. There we go. 
this was pretty fast. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that again. And I did start. Uh, oh my god, this is annoying. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yeah, let let just let let this run through, and uh, I'll get back to you and show it again. Alrighty, now the other part shouldn't start. I removed the repeater down there. So once again, um, this goes pretty quick. I might as well. Do I have one? Yeah. Let's just slow this down at least a bit. Okay. Um, so as you can see, this is going around, and watch the swapper back there. So it's working fine. And now it shuts off. And the thing here with the memory cell is um, I put this in so that it's overridden. Let's do it once again. You can see this redstone is turned on the whole time. Although this torch is off and this redstone is on as well. That's kind of an override for um, as you could just hear with the part down below. Um, if this runs through uh, it just keeps starting the song, you know, and the timing is not right. This would be the same if there was somebody up there triggering the thing to start it, and 20 seconds later, like another one, or you just, uh, you know, touch the tripwire, uh, yeah, with uh, um, 20 seconds later, once again. Um, yeah, so I, I just wanted to have this override part, although it got really complicated. Um, but it's just annoying if you if this song um, is running and starts again. You know the the whole point of the the thing here is would be would be a waste. So yeah, I hope this proves that it actually is working. Um, I still don't know why it keeps jamming up sometimes. Um, as said, my my assumption was that when when this is running and and the chunks get unloaded that the redstone kind of messes up but I just recently heard somebody saying that the spawn area is always loaded so if that's true um, yeah my my assumption would be kind of uh, for nothing but yeah anyways um, just wanted to show you this alrighty everything is prepared um, as you can see I made a track and our volunteers are down here. How are you feeling guys? You're moving out. He doesn't look too happy. I gotta admit they didn't volunteer. <laughs> they just had uh, bad timing to come by here. Uh, but I tried to get one of each. I think I did. We have a farmer, butcher, priest uh what's this guy a librarian something scientist and uh, blacksmith i think it's five right the green guy that that you can't get in well, he's just in implemented in the game code but he's not actually here yeah i think that's fine um i uh, i hope i really hope they enjoy their new home but we we will see on that uh but we need to go sleep before we start off. Go away, I need a bed. Oh, come on. Whoa, he actually had chain... Um, nah, chain boots. But I think I traded that already. And a diamond chest plate. Oh, that's not too bad, man. That's not too bad. Yeah, um, talking about trading. Gotta turn these in soon. Actually, it's ready right now. Um, don't think I mentioned that um, the last time. This is like just an automated read farm, but um, we have like a, a reference uh, read in here that is connected to a butt switch, and that light over there uh, is the indicator that it's ready. At the, on the downside of this thing is though um, it's pretty long, and when I'm like way out there. There's a good chance that only the the close chunks are loaded, and then I I should get if it's all of them uh, two stacks of sugar canes. But as you can see, I get one and a half. But even if we lose something, uh, some that's okay. I had a sugar cane farm at the beginning, like down there in front of this castle, and 
you know, you every time I walk by there and they're fully grown, I'm like, ah, oh, okay, gotta harvest them. <laughs> and that is, um, yeah, that, that's just taking too much time. So I made an automatic thing like here with that butt switch. It's kind of neat, and as you can see, we do get a lot. Anyways, uh, let's get going. And one by one, I hope it works as planned. Come on. You're going as well. Come on, buddy. Don't be shy. Alrighty. Ah, this is looking good. Um, yeah, I made the track. I actually checked if, uh, you know, where I had to put in power rails and I tr uh oh. Is that a bug? He's not actually there, is he? Man, those minecarts are gonna be empty when we're over there. Oh, can you see it right here? This is a bug as well, but as soon as you destroy the minecart, they, they reappear. I have no idea why this happens. It's kind of annoying, and if you, if you don't know that, you you could get shocked, you know? <laughs> like, transporting villagers over, and... Oh, the minecarts are empty. Oh, my God. No, but they're really there. Let me just break this. And i got to make sure that they... I want to keep them in this house for like at least one night. Um, yeah, reasons for that are kind of hard to explain, but um, I had the feeling that... Oh, that's not good. Oh, come on. you got to be kidding me. No. Ah, oh, there they go. Jesus. Okay, we got three... Four, five. Man, that buck is... <laughs> Jesus, oh, this pick is just too good. And yeah, what was I saying? I... Yeah, I want to keep them in here, because... Um, the way village mechanics work, it's kind of... It's kind of... Um, how do you how 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 do I put this? It's hard to explain. Oh, they're breeding already. Oh, come on! Don't look at me. This guy likes you. I'm not here. I'm not even. I'm not even looking. I'm not even looking. But you know what? Please get out of there. I don't like this. Yeah. Um. What was I gonna say? The the village mechanics. Um. Let me put it this way. I, I want them to get used to this house so that this house kind of uh, will be the center of the village. I have no idea if this actually works by by just leaving them in there for a while. But um, since they can't get out, you know, they I hope that they kind of get used to the to this house and, and the closed doors or the very closed doors around this house. And as uh, as soon as I let them uh, I let them out, and they wander off a little further, um, the plan is that the village, or for the game, that the village, then gets expanded, so that this kind of will be the center. And um, I don't know if you've seen this, but uh, it happens a lot that you you know you have a village and it's kind of over the area area. It's it's like almost like a like a a circle. And um, but all of a sudden the village is just like like I don't know a house in the northeast corner or something. Um, that happens a lot. And the like if all villagers kind of from India uh, from in there tend to go over there, and there's none on this side, then it can happen that the village loses those doors. And um, only by rare chance of, an, of a villager coming back here, those doors will be counted to the village again. It's it's kind of complicated, and you can't really see what the game does. There is a village mod that does show you things like that. You might have seen it in some of my tutorials or stuff. You have it in the debug monitor um, below the, the stuff you can see there right now. Um, yeah, but it unfortunately, unfortunately does not work for... Uh, for SMP, so 
just gotta do it this way. Now let me get rid of this stuff here. Because it's kind of in the way. Oh, dang it, I destroyed that bush. No. Alrighty. I think that's okay. Um, yeah, now it's time to show you around. Um, first of all, that iron golem I made myself, obviously, because I just brought the villagers here. Um, but the thing with this iron golem is that... He can't get out of this inner area. I put in some kind of archway like here, so he can't get through here. He cannot get through here. There we got a fence. He can actually not get through here, although it looks like it. But he can't, I don't know, he's kinda... He's like too wide and he tends to step on this all the time. So he can't really walk in the middle here. So he can't get out here. Um, we got fence gate right here to block him off and it's it's too narrow for him so to say in, in any direction and I want to have another iron golem in here just to be kind of safe you know there's zombie sieges and they can appear everywhere and sometimes you're like close to the village and you you don't even notice one happen and that can that can go really bad <laughs> I mean, they can break down doors, and the villagers will try to hide. But still, there's there's gonna be a lot of a lot of zombies around, and um, just wanted to make sure that we have at least iron golems, iron golems, golems. Man, my language today. <laughs> iron golems in here, so they're safe. And if this house really stays the center of the village, it's it's gonna be okay. So yeah, um, I put half slabs everywhere. I <laughs> just said. Uh, a sub telling me that he didn't like it. Um, but that was too late. I already did it then. Um, yeah, I I went with this for the inner area. I don't know. Just um, I kind of started it. Wanted to see what it looked like. And it's not that much of a difference if you do not do it like this. But you have the advantage that um, there's no regular spawning going on in here at least uh, on most of the on most of the area and besides we do have um, we do have the lighting should be good everywhere I kinda checked it there shouldn't be a lot of spots where uh, stuff can actually spawn on so yeah I made these walkways out of dark wood that's another thing I know this is um, don't get me wrong I it's not the perfect match like in general, but I kind of started doing it. The walkways and the houses out there and like over here with the roof. Um, from up there, it really does not look that bad. I know it's kind of, it's a, it's a, how do you put this? Like it's a high contrast. And um, yeah, I can't understand if people don't like it. I wanted to go with the dark wood because as said, my my area over there is pretty much like all medieval dark wood look thing kind of I hope that made sense you know like we have a lot of dark wood around let's let's put it that way so yeah oh did I see a baby there's a baby look at him we got a baby uh, no I'm not gonna open this now cuz he's gonna escape there he is a priest baby you know, if I had, if I could control that, I would just get blacksmiths <laughs> for the for the chain stuff. Because the trading with the villagers is actually, uh, let's just put it, uh, let's just say I'm not a hundred percent convinced. <laughs> it's not that useful. Anyways, um, yeah, I went with the dartwood thing. Um, not gonna change it now anymore. You know, it's done. <laughs> but. Uh, just being sure, I'm not a hundred percent, you know, happy with it. But I made a decision, and now I gotta live with it. So yeah, um, let's just sleep real quick. We have furniture in every house, you know, nothing fancy, just uh, basic stuff, especially in those shacks in here. And we pretty much got a bed in every house. It's kind of an overkill, I know, because for the villagers it doesn't do a thing, 
doesn't do anything, but um, since I've pretty much uh, wandering around all the time, um, I like to have, you know, places where you can just sleep for a second. I know you could always uh, bring a bed, but um, there's always times when you don't have a bed for whatever reason you got rid of it when you checked your inventory or reorganized it, then, yeah then you can't sleep and there's no wool around of course it's just annoying anyways um yeah what do you think about that um well i th i said that i didn't want to change a whole lot in the um yeah like the naturally generated village or about that that village um part yeah but i you know, I had to put in some lighting, and then I thought, why not put some flowers around? It's kind of an overkill, and it doesn't really match with the colors. But it's a well, after all, you know? It's it's a desert area, and that's pretty much the only water around. Which is not the case, but, you know, I gotta pretend it would be. <laughs> yeah, anyways. Um, so I went with, by the way, lighting, yeah. Um, I went with um, this. Uh, do we have a better example like this one here? like this uh, slab kind of looking, then uh, a leaf and um, the pumpkins. I know that uh, somebody uh, meant, uh, or suggested the magic, the, the, the redstone lamps that you, um, with a little trick, you can keep them going without putting a, a power block around. Um, that was kind of too late also. And I wanted to use pumpkins just they kind of match with the cast look that orange kind of look thing it's the same part here I'm not a hundred percent happy with it but you know you kind of gotta gotta go with uh, something and it's not too bad it's not too bad the good thing here is that the vines don't look as green as they do in a non-desert area that that really helps a lot here if that would be total green it I don't think it'll look look as good but yeah that's the lamps and um, I'm just gonna go around and show you stuff uh, we have a little walkway down here uh, underneath this house and um, this is I think that's still naturally generated I'm not sure I kind of moved these um, since I needed room, but they are all the same. Like um, I think it's five by seven or something. So it looks like they at least were gen uh, naturally generated here. Yeah, the reed field. Um, ah, I love it. <laughs> can't put it on. Can't put it in another way. I just love it. Um, it's so nice if you walk through here. It's awesome. Um, yeah, those. Um, the cactus I put in. I know that the villagers will run into it, but um, on the one, well, yeah, on the one hand, on, on on one side, it's it's pretty far, or it's pretty much the border of the village, so to say. So they shouldn't wander off too far and and, and not get in the range of the cactus, at least not all the time. And on the other hand, is we do have spawning here, mob spawning. And um, I think mobs can see through uh, reed, but you know, the cactus kind of helps that they that they might get stuck or something and not wander in the village too much. I don't know if this actually is true. I just kind of put them in. Because cause you actually can't place them next to a reed. Didn't even know that. You know, like you would have uh, space to all four sides like at least block-wise for a cactus to grow. But that works, so, you know, and it, it's green <laughs> also. <laughs> so why not Why not go with it, I thought. Anyways, um, that's the real, uh, the reed field. Pretty big. I actually expanded it. You should have seen it in the clips uh, further than I actually planned it to do. But anyways, um, yeah, so we have... Um, I might actually go up to show you that better. We do have... Uh, 
Come on, go, 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 go. We do have the center of the village, like this area, which is naturally generated. It's a pretty small village, actually. No blacksmith, and then we kind of put these houses around. Um, so this house is new. This house, this and this you've all... No, wait. This and this you've already seen. That one is new. Um, this is new. The f fountain? Is that what you call it? Is new as well. Uh, and these two houses. That's just a little shack that kind of covers an entrance that I had there uh, going into caves. And yeah, the reed field to kind of make the border of the village and then we have the entrance coming in uh, with the walkway from the the other part and over here we actually this was kind of um, we had uh, little lakes here too I think a little further out and you know I kind of remade that so we have some kind of border here you know I didn't want to put up a fence or anything but it, it is kind of you can tell that the village kind of ends here and also put put some cactus around. I still know how to put the plural of cactus, so I'm just going to say cactus. I hope you're good with that. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. Let me let me show you the houses. Oh, first of all, what do you think about the front part here? Um, I kind of try to, to mirror the, the look of the towers. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. And the good thing about it is it's kind of... Um, well, it doesn't catch your eye like when you get here. You, you have to kind of check the area and then, oh, yeah, right. This is um, like a friend of mine didn't even notice that this was here. He he thought that it um, was naturally uh, generated, although he, he knows that, that the castle is just like the, this this thing here. Um, but, yeah, it, it's kind of sad that you can't um, put the sandstone texture on top of here. So I try to make a make this kind of border out by using sand in the middle and it's actually not that bad this way you know it's not that obvious as said so it's kind of cool um, and while we're here I just want to address something to a, a sob. Um I showed you um, that I that I have been sleeping here for quite a while um, the thing now is I got a suggestion to like put a class floor around here, you know, and, and kind of remake uh, the inner area here. Uh, I, I just can't do that anymore. I'm sorry, because as you can see here, I'm using this as some kind of sandstone mine. Uh, in case you didn't know, you can, or this these desert castles, they spawn with quite a few layers of sandstone, as you can see here. And you can farm them super easily. It is just sandstone down here. And with uh, efficiency picks, it's just... Mm. This is just awesome. So, yeah, I, I already started this way back. So, it's 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 pretty much wasted. I might, you know, I, now that I have a big room down here that's kind of hidden. Those, is, those are just... I don't know. I have no idea where this goes. Um, yeah, but, you know, I might... Mm, be possible to make something out of that I can't say yet I'm sorry so um, thanks for the for the suggestion but um, as said it's for now <laughs> I kind of can't do that um, but we might find a we might find something that we can uh, put this room to good use to anyways what else yeah let's let's just go into a few houses um, as said there's not much in here actually there's basically nothing in here so that's a really bad example <laughs> um, yeah you know some chairs basic stuff um, what do we have in here well, that's even yeah it's it's really that it's really not that neat in here over here this is just a you know fishing area I don't know you can go maybe a villager likes it I have no idea <laughs> uh, what else yeah, I made a melon farm also. Thought it would look good. It's also it's it's only the same thing here, just for looks, you know. If I make uh, farms for stuff, I kind of try to automate them, and they probably won't look as good. But for stuff like this, if you're trying, yeah, 
to to give things a good look and stuff. I th I thought this this kind of although it's green and yeah, I just wanted to make it different. You know, since I have three or four wheat farms, also needed some kind of melon, and I think it's kind of nice. Like, uh, since it's attached to this, I don't know, desert lake something. Um, what do we have in here? Oh yeah, chairs again. So it's really super basic. Uh, don't expect anything too fancy in here. Um, especially in this huge house. Um, as said, I don't like it that much, but I just don't want to don't want to get rid of it since it's so big and I have lots of room in here to put doors in um, to get the breeding going. Yeah, I have some bookcases here. They always give a nice look in rooms. And also we have, um, like in every room, or in every house, the the rooms are kind of small and stuff, so um, yeah, it gets cramped pretty fast. But as long as I don't uh, create a, a breeding cell accidentally again, we should be fine by not... Um, you are not invited, buddy. Uh, yeah, we should be fine so that... We might get, I think, I didn't count the doors, but I think we should get at least one for each house, kind of something like that. Maybe a little more. Actually, talking about villagers, we have another. Damn it, this is... I don't have half slabs on me. Let's get inside. Okay, we got this baby. Is that all? Man, you guys are lazy. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Um let me let me cut this here for a while. And um so I can just can get this running. Or let it let it just go and see what happens and maybe maybe give you an update for the end of this episode. So I'll see you later. just, you know, those green eyes, the way they look at me. I'm your master. Yeah, just never forget that. Nah, I'm kidding. You're free, people. And, yeah. Quick update. Uh, we got seven now. And I have been running this for quite a while. And for some reason, they... Seems like they want to get out. Or they're not... The, like... Not enough doors um, for them to, to keep breeding, so I will let them out right now. Is it day? Yeah, it is. Awesome. And, you know, let's just see what they do. Uh, probably will have to cut this again. Um, but, uh, yeah, since I, I kind of, you know, I, I'm really sick of this right now. I thought that uh, more doors would be um, be counted to the village when they're in there. Um, but I think seven is a good start. That should be enough to get this running. Uh, just... What else? Hmm. It's basically just waiting right now, so... I think that I... That I'll give you another update. Well, there's one thing that we could do. One thing, where do I have it? Right here. Let's put our... Where do we put this guy? Maybe a bit over here, since this other guy is always kind of in this corner. Uh, oh, this... You know what? I think he can get out here. Hmm. Yeah. I need to fix that. Anyways, I, I can do... Oh, that. I, I will do this. I will do that later. And there we go. Hello. You know, for now, we're just going to put this block here. Actually, put it over here. Uh, Got to think of something to, to make this not look as stupid as this one. Yeah, but... Um, going to give you another update if there's 
more, which I really hope they that they keep going. Seems to be some lazy guys. Yeah. Ah, oh, look at that! We already have one. I was just about to hit the record button to stop it. Yeah, but uh, as said, I I'll keep it running for a while. Ah, oh, I just missed it. They just made a baby. Here they are playing. Yeah. Uh, in the meanwhile, I cleaned up the the track, and I'm about to end the episode here as well. Um, it's getting late. Uh, Got to kind of hurry. So um, maybe I'll give you an update on how they like it here. You know, like this guy here. How do you like it? Uh, it would be so nice if you could talk, but you can't. Um, yeah, and how this turns out. So to summarize it up, I repaid my debt, uh, which I kind of, yeah, was responsible for dying. <laughs> uh, the old villagers that lived here. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Um, it was actually, uh, I know there was no building, but um, trust me, it was actually a lot of work to do that. And yeah, I just thought that building those houses, you know, you really don't want to see me building creative stuff. That's, that's just, it takes forever. <laughs> so this was kind of, uh, kind of some work, but uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, what we ended up with. So as said, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, please leave this, leave this video a like. And um, yeah, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. Um, it's always nice. Um, as you can tell, I'm a, I'm a small channel. So um, if you sub here, um, this is a big change <laughs> for me as one person and as it would be. I know the bigger channels always like new subs as well. But uh, um, yeah. Like, as you can tell, it's a start-off for me, so um, as one person, a new sub is, is really, <laughs> is a lot, so, <laughs> and that uh, shows me that you, you like my videos and, and the way I do stuff, so, and that's what, what it's all about, after all, you know, just wanted to, I'm trying to share the fun that I have with the game, and if that's entertaining, then, then all is good. So, yeah, um, as said... We're done with the village, and I guess I'll see you later, guys.